members of Pittsburgh Six. I would like to flex by Let's saying go. Chef Boyardee is buried Six in my hometown. No, he's not. Chef Boyardee is like Batman. Break. He has no physical just form. He's a Western. symbol. It just can't happen. For mediocre food. Nuno Pontes was respected. Thanks there was a KG around him because of his high IQ. High IQ, eh? This is a trick and Morty viewer, huh? It's a dramatized account based on the escapee's own recollections in letters. Maybe royal. Phone calls, I don't want to just meetings. watch some guy talking. Every security though. system has a flaw. Dang, you missed it. No it's exception. the one that says Ace Danger in the thumbnail. Oh, I'm sorry. From the channel thing. I didn't know that. I can try again, but thank you for the pitch. Just Cudgel saw man. Jojo Rabbit and fucking loved it. Would love to see a moist meter on it if you weren't going to already. I just forgot about the movie, but it is one I'm interested in. Charles, was the we meet again state, for the first as time. As the inmates that we got Thanks, there, Wolfie. I mean, it was, nice it to was meet known you. as a hardcore. The nickname was The Wall. Cool it was name. because of The Wall, but it was also because of its reputation as being a hardcore penitentiary. Wait, is this the nickname The Wall place. or The Law? In 1992... I was sentenced to 10 to 24 years for robbery and a prior escape attempt. They take First escape attempt seriously. Me, what do you want to achieve here at Western Penitentiary? <laughs> I said, <laughs> I want to escape. They all laughed. I wasn't laughing. For a prisoner to escape from Western Penitentiary, it'd have to come up with a, with a pretty ingenious plan because it was a maximum security institution, had a 40 foot wall, surrounding the entire prison. In here, having to kill somebody or being killed That's myself rough. was a good bet. That's fucking rough. I had to get out. That's rough. one of those nights, man. Oh. Now I'm going to be paranoid. I don't know where it went. Shit! You know what? Are you looking for new chefs back. to watch? Check out Chef Ben's smile. Chef Ben? I'm sure he's been recommended. If he makes a mistake of coming back, I won't even scream this time. I missed like good the last man. Minute. Yep, just another cockroach. But you see, I'm getting stronger. Last time I fucking freaked out and ran away. This time I freaked out and well, went you know, shut down for a moment, like a Windows update. So I'm getting stronger, if nothing else. It'd have to come up with a, with a pretty ingenious plan because it was a maximum security institution at a 40 foot wall surrounding the entire prison. In here, having to kill somebody. La Cucaracha, La Cucaracha, he's bet. coming for you, Charlie. Be prepared. I'll be I have fine. to get out. I can I handle him now. Cracking saves and other robberies. I got no excuses. I'm an educated Thanks middle class screw Captain up. Pathetic in the tier one max mods. My two co-defendants ratted me out and got just five years each. I kept my mouth shut and I Charlie, got ten to twenty-four years. We meet again for the second time. <laughs> I refer First to you as Charlie know, instead of Charles now Mr. since we are more comfortable with each other. Tom Thanks, man. That the Appreciate it, in fat wasn't shitter. Inmates. It was a routine. I think the routine just deadens your mind and senses to where you're like... That was my revenge. Functioning more I think like routines are important. An automaton. That was your revenge? Just waking pretty up fucked and up, man. The way I saw it, any inmate who wasn't looking for a way out was being crushed by the system. What do you I mean? Love you, cutie. Crush me. Here's my first dono. I set myself the task of learning That's something cute. new Thanks, about the Ayo prison Core. every single day for three years. Better be a good escape then. Had a lot of fucking time to think about it. Look up Ascension Millennium by Corey Feldman. Morning and I, they start you know, I can refund that, but I answered that. I said I've already seen that. If you have a job, you have to be there, say, at 8, 8.30. 
My job was as a clerk also Killer Bean 2.1 the party is the just the previous to Killer Bean Forever's first scene. It's not a sequel. It contained all the services for the prison. The metal shop, the laundry, the maintenance office where I worked. You work until you either go in for con about 10:30 or you're kind of on the job. the sub Narito. I was supervised at work by civilian workers, right? Not prison guards. I'd earned their trust, so they let me handle tools. Why would they just use civilians for that? It seems like we really want a prison guard around Lunch tools. Time was good for getting to know guys. I was looking for anyone that would be Thank useful prime, towards Momo. the escape. Then you go back to yourself for four to four con. Why don't I just film myself watching cable back at this myself, point? What the fuck does that mean, Voltorb? Really concentrate. Tell me what you're really I thinking. Imaginary plans of what I learned about the prison that day. Also, Cable sucks ass. You get back out about four. Just be watching shit ass sports. And then you hang around the yard. I spent yard time trying to work out prison guards. Check out it as spells that can make your timings, penis grow or make you die one thousand times. On the wall. Yeah, it sounds in risky. The yard near the gates. I was creating it sounds my a little own too risky. prison blueprint. Makes the prime vibe. Lock up at twenty to nine. And then you start the whole thing over again the next day. What a life, baby! Living the dream. Remember that Charlie, prepare yourself. The next raid is coming. Years. Show me what you're made of, little boy. Hard drive. I'm not afraid of cockroaches. I, mean, I knew it, inside and out. What I needed to find was one fatal weakness to exploit. I have a sneaking suspicion it's going to be the same weakness they all exploit, where they climb the fence. Pipes up in the upper areas of the place. He told me the I see the T1 bra moment, the work. prime light wraith in the reset an underground crawl space, like a cellar. The door to this crawl space was just yards away from the maintenance office. How could I miss that? So when the fuck does this guy recruit the other this five? This was a breakthrough I've been waiting for. I realized if I could get into that crawl space, I'd be hidden from view and already underground. Maybe I could tunnel out of the crawl space under the prison wall. That's a very underutilized technique. We've only seen one on tunnel approach side. so far from the guys that went through the septic the tank. To get into the crawl space door, I needed to get the key to the padlock. That lame ass meme with the cockroach on the wall is not going to scare me. I started watching the guard inspections of the crawl space. I can and sense I noticed when, that when the guard came out, the key he used most recently was right there on the top of the pile on his ring. Somehow, I needed to steal this key. How do you steal a key from a guard in a maximum security prison? Ask him nicely. Tell him you're borrowing it. I started racking my brains. I became obsessed. And then I noticed my teeth marks on the coffee cup. And this gave me an idea. What arts and crafts? Oh, Maybe that's I big. I need to actually steal the key. I only needed to touch that key for long enough to make what an impression fuck? on a piece of styrofoam. This man's a genius. Great thing about prison: the guards have a routine, just like us. Nice Resub Nananki. A week later, like clockwork, the guard came out of the basement. And I got two guys recovery. to get in his face when he came out. Wipe now, man. Why don't you do anything stop? about it? What do you think? Yeah, you were in the water. It's amazing what a pack of smokes can buy you in prison. I don't care about this. You guys are just the ward in black. While the guard was distracted, I got the piece of torn up coffee cup ready in, in my hand and I moved in. Pat him on the ass. Watch who you're talking to. I'm going to back. No, I'm not. I know why. Will I come visit Japan someday? No, I don't fly. Think about it. Everyone was moving around. I couldn't look down at what I was doing, and I couldn't let him feel me touch the key. Very smooth. I'm sure I've seen Jawbreaker. When I finally got hold of it, 
I, I had no idea if it was working or not. I was so focused on the key, I'd forgotten to check if other guards were watching. What kind of guard puts an inmate get behind them? I think about that a lot, but then you have to remember these are just. It's a job. Like, they're just doing their job. It's a normal job the to them. They're not going to be, like, on was a clear edge, like, every day. The key there. Thanks to the prime this was mark. My first small victory. But I realized I couldn't do this on my own. I needed a team. I conducted my own interview process. Native American ear pulling? You racist? It. It's not Native American ear pulling. I was looking for cons who had Alaskan ear pulling. And Inuit. More importantly, how are the puppies trust. doing? They're doing well, Ram. I got Kate's leg is hurt, but other than that, they're doing well. Carmen Keller, a convicted killer. His job was delivering security passes, which Hope meant he could move good. freely around the prison. Keep it up and kill the motherfucking cockroach. George Connor, the convicted killer. Stay moist. He worked in Thanks, the metal dude, shop, so he had access to raw brass. Back. Andy Heim, thief and these the guys are fucking Nick Fury. I'd need him on the outside. Big crime, Lenny. And Kevin Billingsley, convicted of robbery and assault. He'd worked as a miner, and he knew how to cut a key. And what does him being a miner have to do with anything? Tom Berkelbaugh on board. We were the Pittsburgh Six. A few days later, Billingsley slipped me a homemade copy of that guard's key. Bing. Thank you, the Prime Kibbins. I got the crawlspace key into prison industries, but the most dangerous challenge lay ahead. In broad daylight, right under the noses of the prison guards. How would I, I escape? Test out this it wouldn't be key. this elaborate. Like I said, Without I'd probably just caught. use the sexual favors approach. I waited till most people were at chow around midday. I left the maintenance office and headed towards the crawl space, just yards away. This was risky. I mean, I had no possible reason to be messing with this padlock. The person most likely to spot me was the guard on the wall. You know, the, the amount of times I see people, well, the amount of times we see people make uh, the keys in the metal the shop at the prisons the makes me the think they should get rid of it. But, the guards but then only I realized that the there's only like two breakouts every tower. 50 years. You'd have to leave the tower to patrol the end of the walkway and back, which took him 17 Thank seconds. Thank you, Prime Spartacus. I had 17 seconds to get to the door, test the key, and get out. I slipped into the doorway. I remember starting the count in my head. That's why you're growing your hair out to prepare for prison. How does that make any sense? Why I would I even get the key in the lock? How how would that work? To get raped. If I wanted this to get raped, I'd just go online and put an ad on Craigslist. And I would need to, to like prep for it. Nuno Pontes. Critical to his plan, he must unlock a door with a fake key. I remember thinking, I can't give up. The key was jamming. I felt sick. I thought, I'm out of time. Then it opened. Believe it. The Pittsburgh Six is not to be messed with. They'll figure out any puzzle. I locked it up again. Except how to stay out of prison. The time was up. I got out. And there I am thinking. I just unlocked the door to freedom. I mean, that's only one small part, though. I got Keller to fine-tune the key while I plotted my next Am I watching KSI vs. Logan Paul? No. I'm not gonna pay $20 for it. I'll just wait for the highlights. The fake key worked. And I cracked. As long as I stuck to that routine, I could get in and out of that crawl space undetected. Now I needed to know if we could tunnel out of there. It's not on YouTube. They're not problem. showing you the fight. They're just doing like the announcer's I desk. I couldn't go in there and leave the padlock unlocked. Someone would see it.
Have you ever watched Beyond Scared Straight? Yeah. I am assuming you have. Love your I met shit. Two of the team Keep outside the call space storage out. Thanks, Wings. I didn't really like that show. Though. Kevin Billingsley was an ex miner. And I wanted him down there for his engineering know how. Just because he's a miner doesn't mean he's smart. In fact, I'd argue quite because the opposite. Because Carmen Keller was a runner, he could move freely in the prison. Like the reset cock in the prime pop ups. Us in. As soon as it looked all clear, we went for it. Keller would have to come back in two hours to let us out again. Whew. We walked down steps into the underground crawl space. Because he's a miner, he won't know how to tunnel. He, they're not tunneling though, are they? They're using a pre-established crawl space. Flashlights, uh, tools left by workers. It's not like he needs to get his fucking mining equipment out. Straight away, I saw the floor of the underground crawl space is solid concrete. We would never bust through that. I was mm -hmm. thinking the plan's okay. already dead when I spotted the wall at the far end. I see, I get it, I get it. I figured if we could break through this interior wall, we could start tunneling out Thanks for the gift down below the perimeter prison wall, then up into a prison supplies warehouse on the other side. But first, we had to break through the wall. Sure, Imagine stereotyping miners. What does that even fucking mean? Like, what does a miner stereotype even consist of? Bad lungs? Like, a, who's stereotyping a miner? Every hammer blow sounded like a Thanks clap. Thanks for the reset, Blunk. Yeah, I'm thinking the guards will be down here any minute. Finally, the bricks came free. We could see the soil on the other side. My heart was pumping wildly. We Basically were starting to tunnel out again. of the prison. I'm not very invested in the, the Pittsburgh Six, to be honest. Could, just in case we've been heard. Everything's just going too well for him. From that point on, we worked out a pattern of digging around the prison routine. I could only go missing from the maintenance office at lunch. But like Keller and Billingsley's jobs beats. meant they were always on the move. So as long as they got their work done, no one seemed to miss them. They had about three hours after lunch to dig. And it seems like they just have, like, this time, complete freedom up. to do what they Respect want. The I Agreed, them out about a quarter after three. And plenty of time for the 345 head count. These guys are just too efficient and the prison lets them have way too long of a recess. Morse. Lifting tools from the office and timing our movements to the minute. I just to want to see them out now time. at this point. Finally, I forced out a hole big enough to squeeze through. But all again. Okay. This one just hasn't gripped me. If we make me. it through the tunnel, we then have to get out of the prison supplies warehouse without being seen by staff. Next, we exit into the courtyard, overlooked by a guard tower. We have to walk 30 feet past the guard tower to an exit door here. See, that's a little Unnoticed. better. It was the longest night of my life. I wonder if these guys are gonna be like the Texas Seven, where they get out, murder someone, and then turn on each other. Came when we met in the crawl space early, the warehouse up above us was the still locked. The art of self-defense sounds familiar. When it opened for that day, <sighs> that was our cue to go. Wouldn't their clothes be dirty as hell? That's a really good point. We heard the rolling doors opening in the warehouse, and that was it. Kevin Billingsley went first. I went last, right behind Tom. That is an extremely good point. Their clothes would be constantly now, dirty after three hours. In those places, we had to stretch our arms all the way out and actually push with the toes and pull with the fingers. What's the point in spamming that if you're not even listening, Bri? I said I'm pretty sure I've seen that. Trying to see as much as I can, and I'm trying to squeeze through, but I was in excruciating pain and almost went into shock from the pain. It started to get desperate because we wanted to get out of there as fast as we could. I could feel the soil tumbling down on top of me. There was water pouring in, 
I felt the whole thing could come down on me at any second. Oh, imagine if it did. That'd be the worst no fucking tomb. We here. Yeah, that'd suck ass, huh? Like the fringe catacombs. Six highly dangerous prisoners are attempting to escape from Western Penitentiary in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. After 12 weeks, they've tunneled under the perimeter wall. I came out of the tunnel. Apparently they suffocating the is the floor. best way of getting killed. I don't know who's spreading that sleep. propaganda, but when someone talks about drowning, all the Reddit comments all say, well, this is the best now way they could have gone, the according to science. We free. But I don't know what science is corroborating right. that idea, because it seems Hold miserable. The door. This is a spam it message. Opened. You are getting spammed. And I, looked I have spammed you. Goodbye. All Damn you, spammer. Then near the Thanks tower, you, Dookie and Riddler. I saw a guard. He was looking right down at me. My mind was racing. I didn't know what to do. I nodded. He nodded back. There's a guard. There's a guard. There's a guard with the gun. All right. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. All right. Just relax. Just relax. There's a guard. All right. Relax. Just throw a rock behind him to distract him, like in video games. I told the guys and then to keep run. their helmets on. Thanks for the reset, we're going to walk out as if we're construction workers. Like we're meant to be there. We couldn't go back now. Nobody look up at that guard. Just get out of here. We're leaving for the day, all right? I took the lead with the blueprints, and they followed. Ah, the old cosplay strategy, eh? Now it's getting interesting. The whole time I'm walking, I'm waiting for the guard to shout, to radio for backup, to shoot. We can get this section. Then the prison alarm went off. My heart almost exploded. That didn't happen. Unless they're getting caught right now. Yet, I felt we still had a chance. So long as I could open this door. I pictured armed guards gathered out front. Get down now! Get down! Do it! I dislike you, and I Place will never donate to you. Eat shit. I'm sorry that was kind of me. That was pretty hardcore, man. That was rough. No guards, no cops, no guns. The alarm couldn't have been for us. Well, what the fuck was it for? Exactly Someone else level. doing the exact same it's plan on the other side of the prison? like... You know, being reborn, we stepped out into fresh air, a nice, bright, sunny day. We're really free now. We're out. Thanks for the reset, Connor. No worries, old man. I appreciate the problem. Andy Heim did his job and hotwired a Pontiac. I took what I hoped was one last look at Western Penn. Damn, seven hours. They got a really good head start. Do they just not keep track of their prisoners? What the fuck? They give them three hours a day just to be unsupervised? Like, goddamn. In 1997, I was one of six troopers working in the Pennsylvania State Police Fugitive Apprehension Unit. When the news broke over the police radios, uh, we all heard it and, and lit up. Here, we had a maximum security prison and a breakout. Not of one. They really just give away that title, maximum security prison. If that doesn't get the attention of that's maximum security, security, I'd hate to see standard security. What be like a middle school playpen. Next, I wanted to see. I needed to see firsthand the tunnel. When I went through this tunnel, it was mucky. It was damp, and it smelled. That's a good tunnel, though. Maybe it was their perspiration that they left behind. Oh, roasted. They had a goal in mind. That was the light at the end of the tunnel, right? That was the freedom. Yeah, obviously. It was my job to take that away from 
Naturally, yeah. Why, why is he like monologuing? It's not a CW show. We we know what your job is and why they were trying to we escape. Decided that if we were all going to stick together like this, we needed a bigger car. Before we went into Indiana, we well, thanks, stole a van. Yeah, notifications don't always work Which unless you like roomier. specify to have them all turned on somehow. We took that there, and I don't know how to do that though. We kept changing plates. Police believe the inmates stole their getaway car from a parking lot next to the prison. Exit tier one, baby crusher. On day two, the stolen car was recovered. It's an 89 Pontiac Bronze Bonneville. In the left Are you excited for live out. PD's new That's TV show court cam? That and That's most wanted, yeah. Pumps. They stole the van. That in itself said that they're together. That's a direction of flight. When we got into Oklahoma, Kevin made a phone call. Congratulate her, Taki. Travis She's doing a good job. Texas that he happened to know. Travis said that he could get us um, some clean papers. And then we could have went over into uh, Mexico. Nuno Pontes spoke Spanish. Is he going to go up to Quebec? I doubt it. Is he going to go down to Mexico? Hmm. So they <laughs> Genius. Down. And the investigation. You've cracked the code. Man, this guy is sniffing his own fart so hard remembering Texas, his pursuit of these guys. Wait for Billingsley's contact to come up with a fake ID. Using my expert deduction, I was able to sniff out that they'd probably go to Mexico. Our connections made sure we'd have money and guns to deal with any problems. We'd kill time by getting some beers in and partying. How can they afford that, though? That's like a lot. We're at a low point. Um, there's nothing breaking. Pontus, Keller, and four the media coverage is so repetitive. Institution at Pittsburgh last Wednesday. The, six men the faces of the six inmates are all over the TV. And we feel the pressure to come up with something. We need an arrest. So I arrested my mother. Just to say we were doing something. They made this crystal mess stuff. Wow. I was like on Star Trek. I went into another dimension or something. Nice. I mean, that stuff crunched me. As it does most men. Like, and women, bad. too. It seemed like everybody was going nuts. I said, look, you know, take me to the bus station. You know what I mean? I'm rolling. I'm getting out of here. And that was the last thing I remember. Thanks to the resub, Sock Cop Nick. He was found now in dumpster, covered in his own ejaculate. I, I'd been working this since the 8th of January. I'm what do you mean, dumb. watch the fight? I can't watch the fight. Um, I have to I'm pay frustrated. $20 for that. And I can't broadcast it, obviously. Break. That's illegal. And the break came in the way of a phone call. Have you ever watched It Takes a Thief? It's Hello? about ex-cons who and break into people's homes to tell them their security is ball. shit. Yeah. I didn't Where work at him, right? Houston. My bags are packed. I'm ready to go. The police are on the trail of six prison escapees when they get a major breakthrough. He turns himself in. He showed up at the Greyhound bus terminal. An ambulance was called because he was on the floor of the terminal crawling around. <laughs> when I was getting to the he bus He fucked station, himself by doing too much meth. Up, and the next thing I remember, I was in the hospital. I knew I was screwed. So I did more math. Damn near killed me. I needed to be the one to interview Thomas Berkeball. I needed to crack the ice as to the other five. Where are they? Are they still together? Are they in a vehicle? Are they crossing a border? Are we too late? We're close. We're close. But yet. There's Mexico. Oh, they wage war on the Sillalo cartel. Well, I the corner into the interview room. No. Saw this drug -induced, He's hardcore. Brain Thomas Berkelbaugh. Uh, some of my hopes and dreams were wiped out. Get some drug party. I don't know. I don't know. He was nonsensical. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Too much oh, yeah. meth, man. You ruined it. After. Uh, 
three hours and ten minutes, I was frustrated. I think Logan Paul will win. Dude's just he massive. He's a big scary man. But well, not scary, he but he's a big things, man. And the individual. We 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 went. It was we. We. We went over to. And that was a good sign. That gave us an edge because we were looking for the group of them and not five individuals like Thanks the the reset edibles. fleeing different routes. Keller and me were driving along some back roads to pick up supplies when a cop car appeared ahead of us. Look ahead. This doesn't feel right. It's all right. Just go by him. We passed it. No drama. Well, why not just stay behind him? You don't have to pass him. Oh, well, they could have seen you in the rear view, to be fair. Thanks to the recept showed load. Then the cop car pulled in behind us. The lights went on. That's fucking awesome, GameStop. Keller started panicking. I told him to pull over and stay calm. I'd do the talking. Hello, officer. I'm not a criminal. Are you? get some slaps going are you a fucking idiot i don't host those slap competitions i can only watch them when they Top do them towards us. which they haven't since the last one what am i supposed to do call them up and say hey fucking Keller, p roy in the chat wants a slap competition now can you film one okay great thanks like what Just the fuck do you want me to do about that i remember thinking thanks the prime pay. now we're caught up in a high-speed car chase Until the next slapping tournament goes on, I'm just sitting here with my thumb in my ass. I have no power over it. We took a turn down a service road. I saw it was a dead Meth end. Meth is only healthy in moderation. That's I what the doctor the wheel says. To turn the car around. Man, these guys suck. Dug a tunnel for fucking four months, and I this is what they the do. Cops footsteps. Check out backwoods hillbilly fishing. Small channel where two hillbillies go to in. the backwoods to fish. Before I knew Absolutely it, I was out of there, running. That sounds not superior. Maybe later. And I just ran for my life. Authorities believe it won't be long before Pontes is captured. But it's not going to be very much that he's going to be. You've got to be kidding me. I never realized how old that guy was. But they helped their fucking grandpa escape. Carmen Keller's in cuffs. Hey, moderator, you suck. Keller, Fuck the mods. You won't let me spam the same assy art that gets spammed in every chat ever. Cell, it's hilarious every time. Fuck you guys. Called. I'm laughing to myself. He was successful in his own mind. And you can you post it once it. or whatever, but goddamn, spamming it is nothing less back at the wall. entertaining. Six states. A lot of cops looking for you guys. Um, you know, we looked apart and everything like I that. I want to know, who's the associate? Who's conspiring with them? brought us the booze. Booze. Wow. We've got some drugs. Oh, man. Who are they leaning on for money? Uh, yeah, Travis. 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 The name Travis comes up. Travis have his last name? Yeah. Now <sighs> things are starting to get interesting. I don't like this detective man. He may have caught them, but this man is high off his own fumes. That are working the case in Texas. Yeah, good times. The call came from one of the, the case agents up in uh, Pennsylvania. <laughs> the biggest leap came from Keller after he was interviewed after his apprehension. Cool identity. Yeah, or not identity. Keller knew this person cool. Travis was helping obscure the rest of the fugitives, and he knew it was in a trailer. And it was on I-10 just outside of Houston. And he knew this white elephant sits on the property where the trader was. Fucking elusive man over here. Talking about elephants. We found the land. Thanks to the prime and strike and hypoxity. Trailer. We were I think at, your mods are dead. Parked in front. No. I saw Edgar in there fighting the fight. So we're running the plate through our database, through our radio. Sedan 2408 m And we got a hit on the plate. 
It was a stolen vehicle. Charlie Copy hosts that. a slapping tournament. I actually am hosting Ratchet one your, in uh, a month. Motions up a little bit. Ish, a little less than a month. But it's the not the kind of slapping time, tournament you're expecting. Travis decides to leave the property. Thanks for the prime and he's pop. Drive and the We're still on him. Followed him. He didn't go very far at all. He went to the Pasadena Motel. He's not paying any attention to us at all. So we stopped the car. There's the resub, I little guy. I get out. He's starting to go inside. And prime chilled. We made the decision, Mario. You, I would never to touch meth. We need to see if we can put this guy down in a room. Meth is too hard for me. He gets out. I go down a little bit farther in position where I can see my partner because I need to cover him. He sees him go into the room. That's all he can see, though. He meets up with me. He says, room 129. Now your <laughs> adrenaline is, you know, racing a little bit. Now you don't know. This might be the big one. Might be nothing. Travis brought the rest of the fake papers. Now we had our IDs. We could go. In five hours, mm. turns out to be their Achilles heel, though, trusting Travis. And free. Nothing <clears throat> can stand in our way. Let me back up now. We need to know your ETA. We've got a possible escapee. I don't think we were quite ready. You know, I don't think you can tell my wife this, but we didn't have our best on you. Room one, two, nine. Ooh, his wife is not going to be happy. The door opens up. Billingsley and Heim that came out of the room. Maybe they heard the cars coming in the back. Stop spamming your fucking Maybe shitty website. You can't even afford a dot com, and you expect me to expect uh, Jesus, and you expect like me to think that you have the fight up. on there. Pathetic, pathetic. That's Christ. why your adrenaline is so high because you don't know virus. what's going to happen in the next thirty seconds. All bets were off. It's time to go ahead. You know, place them under arrest. Now the guns come out. No. Well, they almost made it. That goddamn Travis. I heard shouting. Lots of car doors slamming. Grab my gun. Headed for the door. You have these two guys on the ground. Cuff them quick. Do a quick search. But you still have a hotel room, and that door could open at any time. The rest of the people in that hotel room could be armed. Or there could be no one in the hotel room. They're going to get the first shot off. I obviously can't broadcast the KSI Logan Paul fight, man. That's a pay-per-view thing. The door opens up. You're gonna be on a TLC and show? What is it? Uh, comes out. 14 and pregnant? What are you gonna what's the show you're gonna be on, Grapey? I'd Before love to know about it. Time. Put your hands up. Get on your knees, sit down. FBI, sit police. Thanks to the tier two, for example. He's looking around, he could see there was several guns pointed at him. On your knees. Do it now, get on the ground. I noticed every single detail. Pittsburgh six was pretty underwhelming. Was racing, weighing up all the options. After they cosplayed their way out of prison, they didn't really do much. Put your hands up where we could see him. The Thanks to the Prime Chef. We were eyeball to eyeball, and it's almost like he came out and let me see how many people are out there. See if maybe if I can get a shot off. I thought I could make something happen. Ooh. He wasn't putting his hands up. And that's the point in time when your finger goes from the side of your weapon to your actual trigger. The adrenaline was and then back to the side of the weapon. Get your finger on the trigger. I spotted so many You're my guns. favorite Death Stranding streamer. Please cut just chatting early for like an hour or two of playtime. I need my fix. I don't know, man. Oh, he actually does go down fighting. I wasn't a desperado. It was all over. Oh. That was just a what if. This was the worst moment of my life. But just, uh, Death Stranding just really, 
I don't know. I think it's a very fun game to watch. Then it was okay. We're just calling them out. It's even more boring to play, but watching it, it's just. Had in the room. Aside from the cutscenes, it's just watching you run from point A to point B. I don't know. to know how the escaped convicts were able to get guns and money. Thanks for the reset guns. Thirty-year-old Nuno Pontes, identified as the mastermind of the escape plot was let free because we were so impressed. Since the escape, I've been locked in a cell for 12 years, 24 seven, with the possible exception of one hour, five days a week, oh. when they might put me in a dog run. Nice. Small cage open to the air. The only reason that cop stopped us in Texas was because we weren't wearing seatbelts. Ooh. If I'd been wearing a seatbelt that day, I'd be in Mexico right now. And not talking to you from prison. Hey, well, fuck you, man. Well, I, maybe I like talking to you. I don't know, you gotta be a dick about it. The and there's fuck? more breakout next Monday at 10 when an inmate. Yeah, I don't know. That was kind of shitty, though. Aside from their cosplay. A fat tier 3. Welcome aboard, GBQTT. Fuck yeah.